Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome and thank you for checking in. It's been a while since I've actually made a commentary video and I'm sorry. I've been busy. Busy with life and work. You know, the usual. But I'm still here. Anyways, y'all know the drill. Today's conversation is going to be about MLB The Show coming to Gamepad. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. MLB The Show first came out in 2006 for the PS2 and the PSP consoles. There has been a new release in the series every year since 2006, so this game has been coming out yearly for quite some time. From 2006 all the way to 2011, the game was coming out on PlayStation 2 and the PSP. The franchise then moved from the PS2 to the PlayStation 3, from MLB 07 The Show to MLB The Show 16. After this, the series was on PlayStation 4 from 2015 all the way up to 2020. Now fast forward to December 9th, 2019, it was then announced that the MLB deal had been changed and that the MLB The Show 2021 version of the game would no longer be exclusive to PlayStation, but it would be moving to Xbox as well. This was a huge blow to a lot of the fanboys because they see this move as an L. But moving on. It was announced that not only is the game coming to Xbox, but it would also be coming to Xbox Game Pass day and date. It's kind of odd that this game was developed by a first party PlayStation Studio, but it's currently not going to be on PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now. This is big and I have mentioned before how important these big budget AAA Game Pass releases mean for the service. First it was Outriders and now it's MLB The Show. My next question is, what's next? Can Microsoft continue to throw their money around and secure these deals? There are already rumors of a Ubisoft Game Pass deal in the works, and if Microsoft can continue to land these big AAA games, I think Game Pass will solidify its dominance over PlayStation Now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends today's lovely conversation. Let me know down in the comments below, do you think Xbox will continue to get these deals or do you think they'll drop the ball and continue to let Sony dominate the gaming space? It's been fun and it's been real, but I can't say it's been real fun. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.